The sharing of time and laughter is the blessing that men give each other, the deep truth of real friends, partaking in the daily celebration, stretching the stories across the loom of memory. I was less than a year out of college when my education began. That's when I met Cook Calvin Mull. Cook had worked for 40 years at the local motel that his uncle started. He was at the end of his career, and I was at the beginning of mine. I knew right away that there was something special about the man. Customers loved to chat with him, and a constant stream of influential friends and visitors stopped by during the later hours of the morning. Salesmen would sometimes drive 50 miles out of the way just to see him for 15 minutes. It didn't take long for me to realize why. Cook was the best storyteller I had ever heard, and he had the charisma and detailed memory to make his colorful past come to life. A burgeoning writer at the time, I was amazed at the power of his narratives, mostly humorous, but often poignant tales. We became close friends, taking yearly trips to pro baseball, football, and college basketball games. Along the way, he told me stories, his childhood on Edisto Island, his service in the Pacific Theater, historic local and national ball games he had attended, sometimes the seamier side of unrecorded local events, always schooling his constant student without knowing it, right up to his death in 1992. Ron Rash once told me that a person is not really dead until people stop talking about him, and I've done my best to keep Cook Mull alive in my own work. The man could take a frown, teach it the sunshine of a punchline, whether it be those three tough cowboys, that greenhorn from Australia, Big Willie Brown or one of the Clydes, leaping back through half a century, hitchhiking before the war, selling peanuts at ball games in San Diego, or hot dogs in downtown Hickory, the eyebrows arched prominently, his head rocking back, a hand raised for a warm back slap, the punchline waiting like a ripcord about to be pulled. In this artistic pause, in this perfectly balanced moment, I wish I could stop all clocks. <laughs>